Hello everybody, my name is Thallion and welcome back to Final Fantasy X HD Remaster. This is going to be exciting. So let's go over here and talk to Riku. We've done our work here on the Albed said... ship. I said what, Riku? You play Blitzball? Hell yeah, I'm awesome at Blitzball. Uh-huh. You know, you should go to Luca. Luca, oh, who dad? Who dad? Someone I know might know who you are. I know what that is. You might find someone you recognize. Luca? Ah. Uh... <laughs> Riku is silly. Riku is silly. She's so cute, though. And t I like, you know, Tinas' outfit is really weird, but it kind of grows on you after a while. Like, it's really wacky, but it's okay. Okay, leave it to me. I'll get you to Luca. Promise. Thanks, Riku. 10 out of 10. Riku is best out bed. <laughs> You'd rather stay here? Uh-uh. Okay, I'll go tell the others. Wait here. Be sure to give me feedback, guys, on what you oh. think of the audio, by the way. And one thing. Don't tell anyone you're from Xanarkand, okay? Yevon says it's a holy place. You might upset someone. Who's Yevon? That's the obvious question. Who is Yevon? Oh, uh-huh. Tia's <laughs> just like, I don't care to ask important questions like who Yevon is. But uh, if the voices are too loud or if the music's too loud, I tried turning down the music, but if the voices are too loud, let me know. Um, I wanted to keep them very clear, though. My Xanarkand? Some kind of holy place? Yeah, right, I thought. <laughs> that place is full of Since hot when? women and fun blitzball. <laughs> Holy. Yevon? Sin? Luca? Why didn't you I ask? I thought Sin just took me to a faraway place that I could go back in a day or two. Didn't think to ask any of these questions, Riku. A thousand Riku. years into the future? No way! <laughs> Such an awkward camera work Whoa. here. If this was Cinema Sins, they would have gotten a sin just then for awkward catastrophe ha happening right as he kicked it. I would just like to point out. Oh. Uh. 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 Series of disgruntled grunts. Yes. This is so cool. Somebody actually pointed out in the comments Jake. that, um, what's- Jake, Lusa! Etonic. Etonic. He sure runs into sin a lot, Titus does. Somebody pointed out in the comments below that the uh, the thing that they were excavating down there is actually an airship that appears later in the game, which is so cool. Which I don't really feel is a spoiler because there's always an airship in Final Fantasy. Bye, Riku. Thanks for promising me things that you couldn't keep. Jeez, that's another thing Cinema Sins would do. Would give him a thing for. I love Cinema Sins so much. I am repping that channel so hard right now. But here we go. Save current game. Yes. Oh, uh, no, I don't need to do that. I am going to... I already got everything on the ship. I got the Albed Primer, which is the important thing. There's a lot of stuff that you can miss, like, on the first go-around, especially in the uh, PAL version, which is, like, the international thing. But, um... The HD Remaster is the international version as well. But you can miss a lot of stuff, and they're blocked later by super bosses, which is bad time. Bad time. Hi, Titus. How you doing, baby? Riku! He looks so good in this version of the game, though! Oh, it's so smooth. <laughs> Gods! Mm. Hi, how you doing? Blitzball! <laughs> He's just like, I forgot everybody that just saved me okay. and died! Yo, what's hey. happening, man? It's amazing how they're already color coordinated. Look at that, that seamless transition. <laughs> I love him. You're like, yeah, this here is the money maker. Okay, give me a second. I am going to go explore some things real quick before, can I not explore? Okay, yeah. Let me grab a couple of things real quick while I'm here. Um, before I go talk to Waka, like, I want to grab this, which I believe is, yeah, the moon crest, which is actually a character so the way ultimate weapons work in this game is that they're actually three parts. You have to get the base weapon and infuse it with a crest and a sigil to make it turn it into where it's actually usable. Hello, friends. God, he is his hair defies gravity. He should be the protagonist of this game. It's really impressive. Yo. Hiya. Uh, you want to try that move? One more time. <laughs> He's like, finally, things were starting to look up. Yes, I can be relevant again. Thank you, Titus. 
Hushk. I like how it has a little tiny shockwave. It's so cool. Oh. And now they're just like, wait, where'd my ball go, man? No, we have to get that later. You know, amateur. Who you play for? Don't say it. The Xanarkin Abes. Smooth, dude. Smooth. Or no, 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 disgruntled. What did you say again? Uh, I meant <laughs> forget that. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, Smooth. I got too uh, close to sin, and my head's all foggy. Like <laughs> you're such so, a great uh, liar. I don't know where this place is, Ten out of or even where I came from. Oh. Sin's toxin got to you. Yeah, man. But you're still alive. Praise be to Yevon. <laughs> oh. Praise be to Yevon. This is why I always say right, praise be to Yevon in my videos. Because I love this game. <laughs> Coach and captain of the Besaid Oryx, brother. What's happening, man? Oh. What? You hungry? Wanna kill? Okay, back to the village. I'll get you something. Oh. Hello, how are you doing? Okay, Bada, I really want to wait. Captain Walker. Proud at this tournament. This is what okay, Baka Keepa. These are actually part so Blitzball is an actual game you can play in the game. It's actually a very like huge mini game. And these are the Besaid Aurochs, who are a um, the, one of the opening teams. And you can actually recruit people from all around Spira, and it helps you like get certain items. It's actually really cool. And there's a tournament system. It's really, really I feel involved. Like I trust this Waka, so I just had to ask. Wait, well, you, you're just gonna? Um, it's true. Xanarkin was destroyed, right? A thousand years Why do you trust ago? everyone so that you see, Titus? It's just a big pile of rubble now, isn't it? Long time ago, there were a whole lot of cities in Spira. Big cities with machina. Machina. Machines to run them. I love it. People played all day and let the machina do the work. And then, well, take a look. Sin came and destroyed the oh, machina so cities. so cool. And Xanarkand oh, along with them. Yeah, that was about a thousand years ago. Just like you yeah, said. Yeah, just like I remember you it. Ask me, sin's our punishment for letting things get out of hand. What gets me, though, is we gotta suffer because of what some goofballs did way back when. Of course, we must always repent for our sins. That's important. It's Very just religious that, game. It's hard to keep at it sometimes, you know? Yeah, man. Just as Riku said, Waka and Riku couldn't both be lying. Why would they? I mean, they have no reason to <laughs> at all. <laughs> Waka's face there. <laughs> But you from the Xanarkand Daves, that was a good one, huh? <laughs> oh, man. Hey, I'm not saying the team never existed, yeah? <laughs> but you gotta figure, a team living in luxury like that be pretty soft, eh? I appreciate like the fact that Waka was trying to cheer me up. I like him. But at that time, all I could think about was everything that happened to me. All this started with Sin. Maybe if I could find Sin one more time, I could go home. That didn't really work out for, for you now, last time. I just live life until that time came. No more worrying about where or when I was. Sure, it was hard not to think of home, but I started to feel better already. A little better, maybe. You know, I never noticed he has an earring to match his necklace. Like, I don't know why I never noticed that. But Waka's a really interesting character. I liked Waka more as a child than I do now. Um, for certain reasons, like with his personality, like he because he has this really fun-loving personality, but there are certain character flaws hey, that he has. This way. Hey, hey, what's happening, man, brother? Oh, you want to play some blitzball? Okay. Oh man, but he's got so he's got Walker's got a nice character design, like his gravity-defying hair. How does he get his hair to stick up like that in the front? It's just that one bit too. It's like he could use maybe that's his weapon in battle. It's not. It's not. Boosh. What if he like hit his leg on the way down or something and broke it, Waka? Did you ever stop to think of that? Waka is very irresponsible. I'll have you. I'll tell What's you why. Big idea? All right, let's go. Let's go. Okay, so now we are in the water, as you can clearly see because this is useful commentary. This is really pretty though. Like the water animation is really pretty for its time. It's really nice and oh god, the scene where it goes underwater, like. The camera shift is a little awkward, but they do a good job of showing off like, hey, we can do underwater environments because we're cool and we work at Square. So that's really interesting. Oh, I just realized my mic was a little off there. Okay, hello. So now we can showcase Waka in battle. So let me just, oh, a boosh. Did I kill everything? Okay, so Waka uses a blitz ball to fight. And he also is a debuffer. 
Um, that's Waka's primary role. He does, like, attacks that inflict uh, status ailments on enemies, like Dark, Silence, and all that. I personally do not like using Waka, really, in Fight for Story Mode, but he's actually one of the strongest endgame characters, because his overdrives all do multi-hits. And when you're doing multi-hits for 99,999 damage, um, you start to wreck super bosses a little bit more quickly. Okay. But let me see. Let me see if Waka has access. Yeah, he has the dark attack. So this would inflict the dark, which makes peop the dark ability, which makes people miss physical attacks. Um, it's a very annoying ability for your physical hitters, but it's okay if you can inflict it upon the enemy. Most bosses are immune to it, however. So look at these ruins. Oh, they're so neat. Oh, the old Machina ruins. Why can't I move? Am I just, I'm going the wrong way? Okay, no, cutscene, huzzah! <laughs> Oh man! Uh, oh, I'm Big Brother Waka. Got a favor to ask you. You want me? <laughs> or I'll drown team, you. Right? <laughs> <laughs> and he just dies here. That's the end of the game. He just drowns because Waka choked him. A major Blitz tournament's coming up. All the teams in Spira will be there. <laughs> it's so huge. I'm sure someone there will recognize you. Look at Walker trying to frame this as a good go thing. Your old team, right? It'll be fun. What do you say, huh? Come on, come Walk, on. Walker's like, we'll abuse you to win the tournament, and then you can leave, because we don't want you sure here. Thing. Titus, jeez. Dude, our team is gonna rock, eh? <laughs> yeah, we're going to exploit all the talent, brother. Oh man, it, I love this I game. I thought then that Blitzball and Sin were the only two things that Spira and Xanarkin had in common. Don't be so sure, buddy. I wasn't too far off either. Don't be too sure. Oh man. I like the way that that rock is designed, like with the wooshka wooshka and the wooshka this broken wooshka. I was born. I started Blitz when I was five. I joined the Aurochs at 13, 10 years ago. 10 years. And we never won a game. Convenient way of telling well, us Waka's age. After last year's tournament, I quit. Time seemed right. Uh, if you've done 10 years and never won a single game, you probably need to kick some people off of your team if you're playing it professionally, because uh, so, that's a terrible win quitting, rate. I got this new job, yeah? But every time my mind wandered, I thought about the game. Gotta get Ten your head in the game. A single win will do that. <laughs> <laughs> Tita's just whoosh cut. My first match last year was my big chance. But something else was on my mind. I couldn't focus. Was it a woman? Nice excuse. It was a woman. Hey, hey. Wow, Tita's way to be insensitive. So you want to win the next tournament. Go out with a bang. So, what's our goal? I don't care how we do. As long as we play our That's best. why you lose. If we give it our all, I can walk away. Waka. Stop talking like your hair. No, 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 no. If I say what's our goal, you say victory. Yeah, Titus. When you play in a blitzball tournament, you play to win. Victory. You're serious. You just said you wanted to win the game, Walker. Walker, stop massaging your muscles all day and think, brother. Ah, <sighs> silly, silly goose. Walker's a silly human being. Though, I will say, 10 years without winning will make the idea of actually winning probably seem pretty ah, foreign to you. The one from the sea. Thank you for that. I guard. have a name. There are fiends on the road today. Sure. After surviving your run-in with Sin, it would be a shame if something happened now. I, I guess I know what fiends are at this point. Who are they? Luzu and Gata, Crusaders. Huh? They like double consonants in this Cruise game. Of what? What? You forgot that too? I forgot literally everything, Waka. Fuck off. Hey, sorry. Don't worry about it. Sure. I'll help you out. Okie dokie. Cool. In return, come tournament time, I'll make sure we take the cup. Yeah. What? Titus is going to take Waka's cup. You can ask them yourself. They got a lodge in a village. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. So let's go down here into Besaid Village. I love Besaid. Besaid's really neat. It gives that, like, down to earth, homey feel, and I really enjoy it. I Besaid like it. Besaid Village. They got any food there? <laughs> we'll get you something over there later. Take a look around first. Okay, brother. I go around Besaid Village looking for shops. Let's see. 
The Crusaders Lodge is over yonder. Luzu and Gata are usually there. These are all like very similar tents, I would just like to say. Very small village. Mm. How do I, all, all those right. Blitz players live here? It's super small. Over here. Huh? What's up? Hedis, don't you hit on pretty girls. Prayer, right? I don't know any prayers. Of course I'd never prayed before in my life. Not that he would know that. Xanarkand is evil and secular. You must have forgot or something. Here, I'll show you. All right, all right. Everybody, all together, practice. Oh yeah, I messed up. Go ahead, you try. You, you try now. Uh, Do it with Titus. Uh. Just, wah, wah. He actually did pretty okay on his first time. Like, it wasn't too bad. He pretty much copied Waka exactly. Eh, not bad. Yeah, 8 out of 10 on your prayer performance, son. You're gonna have to get okay, good. Now, go present yourself to the temple summoner. Is Any he going to put something on my butt? Would know that prayer. It was the Blitzball sign for victory. That's very odd. That's a very odd connection, how that happens. Like, okay, I guess we'll play sports and do, that's how we'll pray to our god. <laughs> Just cause. Okay, so let's look around Besaid Village real quick before we go present ourselves to the temple summoner. Because that's some story stuffs. And also because I don't remember anything about the same village and I forgot. Um, oh yeah, everybody in um, Spiro wears extremely revealing clothing. Like, look at that. Look at that. That doesn't cover up. That barely covers up anything. You know what? That, all that does is give this one a T rating. That's what that clothing does. Uh, you're the guy from the sea. I heard about you from Sir Luzu. Do I have any chests or anything in here? There's some really interesting stuff here in Besaid Village. We should check out the Crusaders Lodge when we're here before we like go to any shops or anything. Let's see. Hey, actually I found a shop. Let me buy some items. Let me buy a Phoenix down. I have four in stock. I'll buy one and then I'll buy two. Uh, I'll buy one more potion and then I'll buy an antidote because in case I get poisoned. Um, even though I don't know if enemies poison me quite yet in the game, but I imagine they have to. Uh, let's go behind here, get these chests. Hi, buddy. Are these yours? Sin struck Spasade Village so many times I lost count. After the house got hit, I guess the owner would just let it be. Okay, well, these are all mine then. Screw you. All of my items. Even I don't care if the owner comes back for them. I'm stealing them because I'm a scavenger. 400 guilt. That's actually pretty nice. That's like double what I had right now. Uh, Crusader, or Crusader Lodge. Important stuff. The Crusaders are very important. Uh, I'd like a nap maybe later. I don't care about a nap. Suck to Luzu and Gata. Hey, you. You were attacked by Sin, right? Recently, was it? Yes! I think so. Sir! So, Sin can't be far, right? I mean... You're not hiding anything, are you? Wow, I'm Why getting grilled. If Sin's nearby, it'll attack the island for sure. I like his hair. But it He's hasn't. Like, well, I wonder why. I was probably really I'm sorry. far away. I really don't know anything. Just, just to my... To tell the truth, I uh, don't even know what the Crusaders are. Wow. You're kidding, right? Hey, gotta Sin, fuck off! The toxin. Gotta tell him who we are. Oh man, yes, sir. he's way too excited the about this. Crusaders are sworn to battle sin. We have chapters throughout Spira, accepting all who wish to join our struggle. The hero Meehan formed the Crusaders 800 years ago as the Crimson Blades. So suicidal Boy Scouts? Later, our ranks grew and we called ourselves the Crusaders. We've been fighting sin ever since. What? You've been fighting 800 years and you still haven't been- Get wrecked! Uh, Get wrecked, son! <laughs> well, we've steered Sin away from towns many times. God is just like, oh. Nobody's ever been able to fuck. defeat it. Our mission as crusaders is to protect the temples, towns, villages, and people of Spira. That's actually- So, then whose job is it to defeat Sin? Is Sin's toxin really this bad, sir? It can be. It does seem rather bad. We Who's could just tell you. But I think it better for you to try. Thanks, to Luzu, for progressing the plot. Sure. Yevon will help you regain your memory. It's actually really interesting. Like Luzu actually handled that very well, whereas God is just like, I don't know what I'm doing. No, I don't want a tutorial. I thought I could save there for some reason. Um, anything back here? Yeah, there's a save sphere. There are cats. Oh, I forgot that there were cats in this game. Oh, we have cats. Hello. Do you meow at me? No. No. I want cat meows. Okay. Um, let's go up to see the uh, temple summoner. Let's go to the temple and pray. Um, uh, hello, doggo. That dog will be very important later. Very vital to my, uh, to my party. Not actually. Well, I do get something interesting from a dog in this village. 
excuse me, from a dog in this village. The hymn of the faith. No, no, no. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> I love the hymn of the faith. I really do. It's just, oh, it's one of the most memorable pieces from this game it was in my mind. Standing in that place. What, Titus? What, you, you hate the symbols? You don't like statues? Is that it? It's actually, like, really eerie. I like, began to realize how different this world was from my own. Yeah. Definitely. Like, there is nothing like this in yours, Anarchand, is there? So religious and sacred and holy. Like, Wudu village was attacked by someone else. Just a little kid, yeah. The village was burned to ashes. I still have nightmares of that day. Um, let's go talk. Let's go check out these statues because they look very important. And Titus also is very curious. Don't touch the statue. That's really disrespectful. And... Ten years have passed since Lord Brosca became High Summoner. And finally, we receive a statue for our temple. Huzzah! Well, what's a high summoner? <gasps> Titus. God damn it, Titus. Uh, uh, I, I got too close to Sin's uh, toxin. Titus, stop asking dumb questions in such a brazen manner. You'd think he'd learn after the fourth one. It was funny hearing myself make the same excuse over and over. Funny. And a little sad. Yeah, it is. The summoners are practitioners of a sacred art, sworn to protect the people of Yevon. Praise be to be to Yevon. Only a chosen few become summoners who call forth entities of great power, the Aeons. Which are bad ass. The Aeons hear our prayers and come down to us. They are the blessing of Yevon. The bad ass blessing of Yevon, I might add. Like so super awesome. Was that we should respect some kind of great men or something like that, I figured. Yeah, totally. Just great men and women and everything and statues. Very important statues. Pray hard and the toxin will surely release its grip on you. Okay, so let's try to go up into this extremely important room. Only sworn guardians may approach the cloister of trials. That will be important later. Plot twist. My favorite's Lord O'Holland, yeah. Spit an image of me old hubby. <laughs> okay. Um, can I go in here? I, I'm going to be try to be very exploratory and stuff in this game so that I remember things. Hello. Pray at the temple. You may over may just overcome toxin sins. Toxin sin. I can't even speak. I don't know how to do words. Sins toxin. Anything else in here? What do we got? What do we got? Nope. Nothing. Not a single chest. Not a nothing. I want items. I want loot. All right. Let's leave this temple. Sometimes I get lost in the tumbles are like I can't find their doors because I'm dumb. But let's go out here and let's explore a little bit more. Um, I think Waka said there was a tent we could go in to get some food. Maybe I should go there. I'm trying to remember absolutely everything, but I'm going to fail. Uh, hello? I think it's this tent, actually. That's uh, Waka's. Yeah! What's happening, brother? Sorry, man. No time for lunch yet. What? Take a nap. You look pushed. Oh, okay. Yeah, let's take a nap. I think that progresses the plot. <laughs> Booyah! Praise be to Yevon. <laughs> I'm so excited. Ah, I mean, Square's been really, like, you squeaky lately. You go see how they are doing. We can't interfere. It's a rule. But it's been nearly. It's been nearly what? Ba -ba -bom. Tension. <laughs> That's another weird work of, like, of the camera there. But like, it's, it's been, been nearly. It's been, it's been nearly, nearly a day, day already. already. Perhaps you could go look for us. People, People are searching for him now. You know, you think after a day, that's not really a missing person thing. He could have just like gotten drunk hey, in a ditch. You. Who cares whether he comes back or not? Oh, look, it's little shit version of Titus. Fine, let him. Damn, that's stone yeah. cold. Do you hate him so? Yeah, seems like it. That kid. If he dies, you'll never be able to tell him how much you hate him. What a shitty mom. What a shitty mom. Yeah, I, I get you that you hate your father, so you should tell him that because I want him to be alive. <laughs> Tidus, your parents are weird. 
Your parents are so weird. Where'd my brother at? Oh no, we have to go find the source of that plot tension, yo. Oh, come on, man. Okay, uh, let's see. I think that we can go and check out the temple again. I do believe that's where Waka would have headed because, you know, high summoners do that. Hello? Is something wrong? The summoner hasn't returned from the trial. Oh no, some old dude eh? hasn't returned from the trial. No, apprentice summoner, really. Huh? There's a room <laughs> thanks, in there thanks, called Cetus. the Cloister of Trials. Beyond is where the apprentice summoner prays. If the prayer is heard, the apprentice becomes a fully fledged summoner. Remember? Sure. Uh, so someone is in there somewhere and they haven't come back out. Right, I got it. Yeah, sure. A Sounds good. Already gone by. An entire is it day? Wow. Dangerous in there? Sometimes, yes. Why Do they just put the monsters? Room? There's already guardians in there. Besides, it's forbidden. Ugh. Titus! Hey, but what if something happens? What if the summoner dies? The precepts must be obeyed. Like I care. <laughs> Titus, I love you, but you're an asshole. You're such an asshole. Maybe. This wasn't such a good idea after yeah, all. Yeah, you just shat on Cloister of Trials. Wow, I forgot we go right into this. Those who seek to learn of Yevon's secret art, art blah, blah, blah. let me restart that. Those who seek to learn of Yevon's secret arts are tested by the Cloister of Trials. Find the right way and you will be taken to the Chamber of the Faith. Examine objects with A to open the way. So, here's the thing, Titus. You really just kind of shat on their entire religion, which is not really okay. You need to not do that because people will get mad at you. Like he he was just told in a land that was very like unknown, that was very different from his own. Hey, don't do this. It's against everything we believe in and probably kind of dangerous. And he's like, fuck you guys. I'm running in on my own. So Titus is kind of a little shit at this point. So glyphs and spheres are the keys to these cloister of trials. Also, in every cloister of trial, because you put in like spheres and or into these little pedestals and they work out. Glyph spheres open the way to the chamber of fate. Destruction spheres open the way to hidden treasure. Ambassade spheres are necessary. Um, the important thing here is that I need to get a destruction sphere before I beat the chamber of trials. Because um, that's very important for something later in the game. Because you need those to get a very special Aeon, and if you don't get them when you're here the first time, they're all blocked by super bosses. So you need to make sure you get them on your first visit to the Cloister of Trials. Um, and if you don't, I got, the super bosses are hard, and the particular Aeon that I'm speaking of is extremely useful for endgame leveling. So we're gonna make sure that we do that, we're gonna make sure we, that we do it right the, this here first time. Hello, how you doing? Hi. And then this, yeah, this is, I believe this is a destruction sphere, right? No, it's a besaids, besaids, besaids sphere. Let me remove that. Maybe that's where the destruction sphere goes. I don't remember. I do not remember the cloister of trials all that much. So this is going to be a lot of me just goofing around like a dumbass. Um, okay. What are we doing here? Where, where do we go? With the pedestal? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yada, yada, yada. You can hit the glowy thing to uh, make things, like, reset. Simple enough. Simple enough puzzles. I wonder if I can just, like, speed run through this cloister of trials and hopefully beat it before the end of this episode. Probably not. I've got, like, a minute left in this episode. Um, okay. So I need to push this. I need to push this pedestal. Come on. Come on, Titus. Push the damn pedestal into this little slot down here, and that should unlock something. Bada bing, bada boom, like a pro. Yes, hey, super good puzzles. It's gotten into you. Hey, Waka. Okay. What's happening, man? Only summoners, apprentice summoners, Shit, no. and their guardians can enter. Wait, am I am I moving on? I don't want to move on yet. It's a tradition. No. No, 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 so no. So what about you? Me? I'm a guardian. A guardian? That's that other job he was talking about, Titus. No, I think I messed. Might have messed up. I don't remember. Does this take me directly to the faith? Whoa, whoa, ah! Someone has gone on a pilgrimage to pray at every temple in Spira. Guardians protect them. Oh, oh. The guardian's in there now. One of them's got a sure fuse. And who knows what the others think? <laughs> Sounds like you know them very well, well Waka. Now that we come this far, 
Might as well go all the way. That is ha my policy for everything. Especially, uh... We're not gonna go there! We're not gonna go there! <laughs> oh, what are you man. Doing here? Didn't think we'd be able to handle it. Hello, Lulu. No, you got them belts, uh, girl. It's just... See, I told you she gets mad easy. Oh, man, that's so good. Oh, ew. I didn't mean to go into a cutscene. This is going to be a bit of a longer episode. All right? Who the fuck are you, Titus? Who are you? <laughs> like, why are you here, you brat? Get out of here. Move out of here, son. I like that door. It's kind of vibrating slightly. It's like, do you see that? It's like, whoop, 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 whoop. like, look at them belts, girl. Lulu is a a ball of interesting character design. Ooh. I like Kamari too. Ah. Oh, she's so good. Hello. Hi. I'm so excited to have her here. Oh. He's like, damn, she's pretty. She's like, straight up. Yuna is very pretty. I said it. I have become a summoner. Dude, that smile, though. That smile. Yeah, okay, I need to go back. Ugh. I'll need to go back and get the Destruction Sphere, because I Man, totally I forgot. Surprised. And here I was, thinking summoners were all old geezers. Tia's like, damn, she's way hotter than I thought she would be. Can I go back in there? Only Sword Gardens. Damn it. Okay, so... I'm actually going to end this episode here. Um, and I'm going to reload the save, go back and get the Destruction Sphere. Because I really, really want to get those in the first time. I also, this episode's going on a little bit long. I'm very sorry for that. Um, but anyways, this has been Final Fantasy X. Thank you everybody for watching. If you liked this video, share it with your friends. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thalion out! Waha! And then, woohoo! Oh, that's so cool! Like, you have to dis use destructible physics! Oh, to like, break windows and stuff, that's so neat! Man, you had Super Mario RPG, you're fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come what? back here. What the fuck was that there it is. Yes. Oh, what was that? Oh, here we go. Oh. <laughs> Why are all of like, the High Priest bald? I don't understand. Why?